who is Barack Obama's running mate? And can I get some crystal hamburgers? That's really yeah. 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 And so let me say that we arrive here today by the sum of all of our paths and the unswerving punctuality of chance for this, this most important day, this most important event, the Crystal Square Off 5 kickoff featuring the greatest reporters of this fair city, ladies and gentlemen. But before I begin, I'm just going to give a very grand introduction because, frankly, I, I want to. They say that competitive eating is the battleground upon which God and Lucifer wage war for men's souls, my friends, and they are right. Because this is a battle of the ages. This is a battle of the titans, that being that is half God and half man, and comes to earth only once in only one location, and that is here by the riverside in Chattanooga, Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen, for only one purpose, and that is the crystal square off. So it is, and so it shall be. Let's meet the eaters. Our first eater is a genius of food. He understands why they call it couscous and not just coos. He understands why raisin toast burns more quickly than regular toast. I don't understand that. He remembers what he had for lunch on June 17, 1997. Tuna salad. He's at one with food. And he comes here today to try to make his mark. A reporter from WDEF, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Law. Our next eater, this is a story of triumph and tragedy. Our next eater first began his career in competitive eating as a youth at 12 years of age when he downed 17 bowls of Captain Crunch cereal in three minutes. But it ripped up the roof of his mouth and it sent him into physical and emotional therapy. Only today does he come back to the eating table. What courage this man has, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I hope you welcome him with open arms. A reporter from WRCB, let's hear it, from our Bruce. Woo! This next man is of Irish and Welsh heritage. In fact, he comes from a very extensive line of competitive eaters dating all the way back to the 1700s. And today, he comes here today to eat on behalf of his ancestors, ladies and gentlemen. He has traveled oceans of time to be here. His ancestors stand on the shores of time looking up at their progeny, at the extension of their DNA, and I hope he does them proud, for if he does not, he will disgrace his entire family. Ladies and gentlemen, the host of WTVC's This and That, Don Welch. Now, our only eater here today with legitimate, bona fide eating experience. He's been in an organized eating contest before. He did not fare well, and I hope, I pray, <laughs> that he's been at the training table focusing on jaw strength and stomach capacity, focusing on the discipline necessary for this sport. Ladies and gentlemen, the anchor of WDEF, Joe Legee. I'm very yeah. hip, I, I'm very hip. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. <laughs> I don't get it yet. I'm, I'm busting a move right now. Don't hate me because I'm gangster. okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, his stomach is a cauldron in which food is cooked by the heat of his liver. His liver runs at 225 degrees Fahrenheit. He can eat a rare roast beef, and by the time it is digested, it is medium well. Let me hear it for the great reporter of WDEF. Four, Four three, three, two, one. one. Beer. Oh. You can just go ahead and leave. Go, go, Cheer go, on, go, go, go. 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 They're breaking them in half. is in the lead as improbable. Oh, 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 oh